Hello everybody, my name is Terenovan, and welcome back to Amnesia! Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, and the time I'm recording this, it's New Year's Eve. I've got a whole bunch of stuff pre-recorded, so that's why you're not going to see this for a while. But yeah. And I thought, what better way to get back into the thick of things over to Christmas break than to shit myself with Amnesia. So that's what we're doing. I'm in a, well, a pretty dark room. I mean, I got one light on, and it's a big room. Oh yeah, we were here. So let's see, where should we go? Invent. No, tab is inventory, right? Okay, F, flashlight, lantern, same thing. Let's go up the stairs. I'm sure there is nothing terrifying here. Uh, uh, why do I have a bad feeling about even the guest room? He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple, and pondered on the strange happenings. What? Maybe I missed something, I don't know. I'll, I'll find it eventually. Their loading screen dialogue, it's... er... commentary, it's not... Like, I can't have all of it. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? I don't know. But it's bright in here. Which makes me very uneasy, actually. Hey. Damn it, cockroaches. This isn't going to be a very long episode. Second it's just, of July. Oh. 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Wait, so the Herbert was the guy that got trapped and, and went on the expedition and all that, but I thought he was Daniel. I thought that was Daniel that went on the expedition. Crowbar. Is this part two? 3rd of July, 1839. Yep. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Well then. That is confusing. Hey, it's snow. Oh no, that's light. I thought it was snowing. <laughs> that's that's a little weird, indeed. This is gonna be a jump scare. No. So I was the one, or Daniel was the one to go into the thing, but Herbert was head of the investigation. Ooh, anything in here? Nope. Uh, it's nice to be back and, well, 
with amnesia. Uh, how, how do I? Here, J. Notes. Oh, wait, maybe it was? Well, what was that so? The lock is broken. Find another way to open the closet door in the guest room. Oh, that's simple. Okay, maybe it's not so simple. Oh, oh, I'm a dumb. I'm... I was thinking this whole time, I have a crowbar. And it breaks the crowbar. The key. Please, let it be here. Okay, now I don't want there to be a key here. An important key is hidden in the guest room. Oh. Like the regular guys. It does not sound like the regular guys. It broke down the damn door. It's, it's gone. What was that thing? Oh, oh, oh. Fourth of this? July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay, where is it? I have to find that key. Don't do that. You scare me. What? There's, there's supposed to be a, oh, uh, there's supposed to be a key here, is there? Ah. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. The machine room key, why do I not like the idea of this? William Smith had been mocked. There was no fa way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. <coughs> Is that thing gonna be in here now? I guess not. Alright, let's go into the study. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Well, isn't that just fantastic? I guess they all went crazy from this 
circle spherical object. But from all over Europe. Didn't they say they found it in like the Sahara Desert or whatever? In Daniel's notes. Oh, this looks amazing. Alright. That noise was in the game, right? Oh, well, I should probably turn on the light then. Why do I have a really bad feeling about this? This is a messy place. Like, damn. Okay, I, I'm gonna leave this room. I have a bad feeling about this one, though. Yup. There, there's nowhere to hide here. Yep, that sound is inside the game. To my most trusted student and jo friend, John Weyer. Shut up, I'm trying to read here. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs. One of them? Whoa, 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 this is some deep shit. I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstad, investigating one of the end antiquated trails when I found the cavern. I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Oh boy. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way on to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. Uh oh, when I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light, in, light engulfed, me, engulfed me. Jeez, where's my reading skills? And the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, as, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstead. Your friend and mentor, Henrik Coprelius Agrippa? Wasn't Agrippa some dude? Like, a important dude? Is that all that's in here? Oh, I guess there was nothing to fear in this place. Ah. Can I touch the paintings? What in the... 
Is the sound of that dog supposed to be the... The beast? The guardian? I don't like long hallways like this. It makes me think there's gonna be a chase. I really don't like those sounds. Oh, please stop. Hey, there's trees outside. Can I just break out of this place and go? What? Chambers of the human skull. What? Understanding locomotion? Milestones of human anatomy. What the hell is this place? Why is it so creepy? Oh! Oh, what the hell, man? This is not right. Canine jaw. Understanding balance. What the hell? <clears throat> Canis lupus familiaris. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an indigenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genius. There is an inherent problem in the harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable my real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Oh, what the hell? This is sick fuck. Okay. Alexander really is a sick fuck. I've got to find him and murder him. What? No. Let's see what you have to offer. No. <laughs> Oh. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Oh, I don't care what comes after me now. I'm just gonna remember the... Alexander. Ugh. I don't care what happens now, I am going to murder him. Oh, no one hurts animals. That's horrible. Uh, I'm gonna knock these guys over just in case. Or may maybe not. What? Okay then, that was weird. Boom. Okay, I guess not. Boom, that's what you guys get. Ah, oh, damn it, it's like the Eggman screams of the tortured dog souls or whatever. Ooh, Tinder. This place is just free. Oh, okay. Okay, no matter what chases me, I'm just gonna remember. This guy is fucking insane, and he and he, he was planning on doing this to humans, but the dogs, or maybe he did it on humans. <coughs> what was that? I do not appreciate that. Oh. Okay. Mentos. Find another way around this rubble in the study. Uh oh, do I have to go back into the other room or do I have to go outside? Do I have to like break outside and go outside? That would be awesome. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing behind me first because. Hey. 
taking this chair with me. Oh. Oh my goodness. There's like this shit stuff on the the, the meat mo the monster meat stuff is like on the trees, damn. This is a really well made game though I have to say. Alright, you stay there. I will search about. What is this? This seems important. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trust you. It is I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Okay, then. Uh, all these technical drawings are a little bit much for me. You're not the same chair as that chair. That chair is better. Oh boy, this is a creepy place. Thrilling commentary on my part, of course. Yes, creepy place. Ooh, what's what's? I'm gonna read the thing first. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use a steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meters should read up 8 and down 8. Okay. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. How many rods do I have to get? Flow cycle. Oh, do I have to get all three of them? Gosh. Freaking damn it. Hey, two new boxes. Well, this was just fantastic. Is there anything else in this place I need? Nope. Okay. Me and my chair are going... There is something out here and he wants my face. There's no point to going over to this side? No. Okay. wonder what happens if I fall. I really don't want to find out. Oh, I'd probably just die from fall damage. Hey, there's a... <gasps> no! I just knocked a tinderbox off the edge. Looking great. Now for me to get the hell out of here. Check if it's okay. It's okay. Oh good. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Freaking what? Oh, what? What is going on? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, I'm gonna go through the cl Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. Oh, yeah. It looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. What? Yeah, Herbert, you dick. Nope. Oh, I don't want to go here either. Oh. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, 
You have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. Well. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna... Yeah, it's not working, okay. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Why am I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go to the other side to do this? Oh, great. What? What key? Oh, here. I don't want to do this, but okay. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Why? Is he gonna kill himself? <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Yeah, yeah, responsible. But, oh, jeez. Yeah, I can actually move it with my face. Yeah. Uh, wait. Ah. Uh. Oh, wait, ah, I want to do this. There we go. Oh. Up eight, down eight, right? How do I do what? So do they have to make eight combined? What? I don't like that sound. I'm gonna leave it. No, I'm, I'm gonna leave it in the middle. I do not like that sound. Holy crap. Yeah, this place is creepy. Jeez, I'm scaring myself on the pipes. What's this? Where do the rods go? Really don't like that. Okay, it doesn't go in there at least. Whoop de doo, we're back. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Why is this place so creepy? Why is this place so huge? Just needs to power a freaking elevator. Please tell me there's something down here that I can use. Oh. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. What? I only have one from the inner study room. 14th of July, 1839. Oh, I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. 
He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Oh, well then, that's that's our good guy, Count Brennenberg. All right, so yeah. Oh, what? I have to figure out which one it goes into. Ah, oh, shit. I'm, much, I'm almost out of lamp oil. So it's pretty well lit down here. I'll, I'll leave it like that. But damn it. Oh, what is this one? 17th of July, 1839. How has <coughs> this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Okay. Woohoo. So haunty haunties. I ah, oh, what is this? What missing cup? Where? Oh, here. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, do I have to find all the cog wheels down here? Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me, right? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? Come on, come on, open. What the... Jeez, what, what is this? Stop making that sound, man. Ooh. Full refill worth of... Oh, I need some coal. What's this? No, it's just more tinder box. How many? I'll, I'll put like three in. Lumps of coal. That should be enough, right? Burner is now full of coal. No, I'll, I'll... Okay, then. Let me just... Let me use some of these tinder boxes. There, because we got more light. I have to find all the cog wheels in the whole damn place. Oh, great. They all look the same. At least my guy doesn't get tired. <laughs> Again, thrilling commentary on my part. Huh? Oh, here we go. 
boy, this is gonna be fun. Well, so I need the other rod, so. What? Needs more work. I mean, it needs more work. What's this thing? Something going there? What is there supposed to be something here? What's with this thing? This. That's burning. Am I supposed to. Oh, am I supposed to do this at the end? Ah. Wait. No oil left in the barrel. Oh well, that, that was a lot of oil. I'm glad I had that. It was a full refill. Strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Okay, why is there a hand there? Is that mine as Daniel's hand? What? What the hell? It wouldn't open. Ugh. Do I have to... This hasn't been a very scary episode, to be honest. Like, there was some noises in the one time the monster... I had to hide from the monster, but... I'm, I'm gonna get scared. Storage. Maybe there's rods in storage. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet have been over... Oh, I read this already. He grabbed all the settings he could find. Okay, then. Um... Come on! I want to get scared. Well, no, I don't. Remember. Okay, I shouldn't have said I wanted to get scared. Oh, this place is. Oh no! Was that darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural? Yeah, no shit. Damn, this game has great atmosphere. I'm all. Oh. I recognize this place. I know where this is. This is creepy as oh no! I, I gotta stop saying, but oh, I do not like this at all. No. <laughs> no. Alexander, I've prepared the explosives we need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brain servers this before you go ahead with your plans. Liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go. Okay. Okay, two to large vats. This one? No. What is this? Oh. Why is this place open? I do not like that. And I'm running out of oil really fast. Tinder box. I really don't like this. Oh boy, what is this? That's nothing. Um, what else is supposed to be here? Tinder box. Okay, this place is really creepy, and I do not appreciate it. It's only until you do things like this that you really realize that it's a scary game. Come on. Drill part? What do I need a drill part for? Here, I'm gonna risk lighting. No, I'm not gonna risk lighting a candle. Here, how about this thing? Okay, so there's the two liquids, but... Oh, oh, no. 
This is not fun. In their boxes, shovels, what? Okay. What? Need to find all the parts. Oh. What? Now I'm just confused. Where's the last part? Where is this last drill part? I don't want to go upstairs again. It's creepy up there. And I am running out of lantern oil really damn fast here. Oh yeah, it's this place. This place is freaking terrifying here. Find what's in here. No. Oh, it's so damn dark. Here, there's a tear box. Gotta be fast. Hey, a drill part. Well, oh, son of a bitch, you piece of crap. Oh, I can run past him? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, come on, well, this is no fair. No, get away from me! Leave me alone! Where the hell did it go? I didn't see. But I need some. Well, I need to combine this stuff first. It is pounding and has it barely conscious. So. <sighs> Go stay in the light in one of the rooms. Get out of it. Oh, what? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking. Get off of me. Who is that girl? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. That was freaking close. What? Don't do that to me. Where is that sound coming from? Slight headache. What? What? I don't get it. Why? Why was that the scariest thing? I 
I really don't like this. That was definitely a scare. Actually, I've been playing this for a really long time. I'm going to edit out some of the parts that were, you know, just boring and stuff. But... Oh, shut up! We all have our problems, jeez. Like, for me, I have a few cuts and bruises and uh, head is pounding and hands are shaking and I'm cutting myself on these blades. See, ouch, 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 ouch. See? We all have our problems, lady. Deal with it. Someone's trying to take you somewhere, you kick him in the balls. That's that's what you do, you know. <laughs> what the hell kind of sound was that? Okay, well, anyways. Oh, fine. I'm going to leave it here, because that, that was scary enough for me, because I thought he would go away. I forgot monsters are attracted to you if you look at them. I'm like, hey, he's there, and then he just started coming towards me, and I'm like, shit! But anyways. Hey, I don't have to listen to the lady or anything anymore. Awesome. Well, when I do that. You done, lady? You done, missus? I think she's done screaming and stuff. Alright, so, thank you all so much for watching. I got, well, this was a, a kind of productive episode. I mean, it did get a lot of scares, which was the reason I started playing it again, but it did, we did get a lot of progress for it, so that's the good thing. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I might just go out and get killed by the monster so I can respawn and, well, start over and uh, have it in not there anymore. If he is there. But yeah, I'll pick this up in the next episode. This was fun to record and kind of spooky. Not as scary as the other episodes, although the atmosphere in this game is amazing. This room in particular that I got into, like this area. Oh, I said, oh my goodness, I, I still remember what it, well, I don't remember what I said, but I remember what I felt like, I want to be scared, and then I see the place, I'm like, nope. So yeah. If you play this game, you will know for yourself. It is damn scary. Even the, just the atmosphere, the music, and the lighting. Even if the graphics aren't the best. The graphics are actually really damn good for a game whenever this was made. It's held up quite well. So, and Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos I have done, then check the, link in the description, check the links in the description below or click on the annotations after the video. If you liked the video, uh, like, click the uh, like button below. And if you really liked it and you want to see more, subscribe or comment. I'll read your comments. Uh, if you want to see me play more or play something else, I'll read your comments for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. And he jumped the fence. Bomb.